The Chemistry Behind Water Intoxication by Mari Price, Lynn Valentine, and Kayleen Dixon. What is water intoxication? Water intoxication is when your cells contain more water than sodium. So they cannot have the equal ratio which is needed. In other words, it is basically when your body contains more water than the cells are able to contain. How does it work? Well, when water intoxication occurs, the blood outside the cell, the serum, is diluted by all the water coming in it, in the body. Therefore, the cell sends out sodium, which will cause the blood to become more concentrated and create the sodium water ratio needed for it to be stable. Now, the cell does not contain its needed ratio between water and sodium, since it just sent out all its sodium to the blood. Since the blood outside the cell is more concentrated now because it contains the sodium, it has more electrolytes. So, water and the electrolytes flow into the cell through osmosis, attempting to make equilibrium again. As a result, the excess water makes the cells swell to a point of almost bursting. The chemistry behind it all. Water intoxica intoxication has a great deal to do with osmosis. Osmosis is a process in which fluid, also known as water, passes through the semi membrane from high concentration to low concentration in an attempt to create equilibrium. The chemistry behind it all part two. The common electrolytes, sodium, potassium, and calcium, take on a positive charge in the fluid and are called cations. Hydrocarbonate, phosphate, chloride, take on negative charges called anions. The concentrations and charges of these electrolytes have a lot to do with how the fluids move through the body and how they pass in and out of the membrane of the cells. This is a picture of cations moving through the semi membrane. The purple is the blood and the blue is the cells. It also shows sodium trying to create equilibrium between the cell and the blood, between water and the salt. The chemistry behind it all, part three. When the sodium level drops in the blood due to the amount of water diluting it, the equilibrium becomes unbalanced because there is not enough sodium to have an equal ratio anymore. So, sodium leaves the cell to make the blood more concentrated. And, at the same time, excess water flows into the cell through osmosis and in another attempt to make the cell have equilibrium. However, there is not enough sodium to balance the amount of water going into the cell. The cell then expands in order to accommodate the excess water, which will result in the cell exploding to, 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 due to the imbalance of sodium in water. <laughs> symptoms! The symptoms of water intoxication are similar to the symptoms of alcohol in intoxication. Nausea, muscle cramps, disorientation, slurred speech, and confusion are some of the symptoms. Treatments. If water intoxication is caught early, treatment with IV fluids containing electrolytes can lead to a complete recovery. However, if it is not caught early enough, it can result in death. How, how much water is too much? It is different for each person. Height, weight, and how much food is in your system are all factors. Well, watch this video for more explanation. Is this too much water? Is this too much water? How much water is too much water for her? She has just eaten. And now she's going to drink a lot of water. What do you think will happen? I tried to do headstands for you I tried to do headstands for you Every time I found you Mari is a medium height She has not eaten all day and she's very hungry But she decides to drink all this water instead
Thanks for watching.